Hi and welcome. This is going to be an intense video. I've already recorded the podcast and we touched on quite a few items in in the like item subjects in the um in the podcast highly recommend listening to that because it's going to be a little bit more details than what i'm providing here so now we've already talked about being in the present moment and the power is in the present moment so i i had i heard it explained by joe dispenza dr joe dispenza once that was really easy for my mind to to picture and and experience so what you do is where you are in this moment and you draw a circle you just visualize a circle around you this is the present moment this is where you have all your power the moment you think outside of the circle and that's about your banking or appointments or um you know, worrying about family, uh, worrying about anything, uh, like anything outside of the present moment. If you replay the past, that's outside the moment. So it's really difficult for us to wrap our heads around. But basically, you draw yourself a circle and anything you think of that's outside of the circle, you are giving your power away. So really important to call back your power the energies that are coming at the planet that the planet is resonating at is affecting us on an uh, electric way it is um our whole electrical system some are more off balance than others and um you feel it you can feel the energy of it so really important to call back all your energy not giving it away now just a a quick example would be something happened to somebody I know that I thought was unfair and so I I got involved it's the drama I always talk about so I got involved and basically I spent two days I was angry I was um, upset I cried it was all a situation that number one wasn't my business and when I while I was doing that I was giving my power away because that's something like I said wasn't my business that was that person's creation and each and every one of us is creating our lives with the thoughts that we have the emotions our vibration is all bringing whatever experience to us sometimes that's a little bit difficult to um, admit to but we are in charge of what's going on so you want to change your life you change your frequency now in this case it's the present moment so you want to call back all the energy you're giving away now the circumstance that I mentioned two days it took me two days to realize or to come to this aha moment that what am I doing you know because I was putting so much of my energy towards thinking it was an unfair situation when reality it had nothing to do with me and it was affecting me so I had to cut the cords call back all of my energy and just focus on me and that is giving that, that's taking back all my power so really important not to get involved in other people's stuff and uh, it becomes a cycle you know because it, it's like once you get into that energy you find something else to worry about and something else to be concerned about again not your business so this space the circle that you drew around yourself is your business that's that's your you know concern is your frequency so when you focus on raising your frequency and that is what's going to affect your like the changes in your life because when you raise your frequency you'll be drawing to you a, a uh, you know whatever changes you want hi Sarah and uh, so the reason why I'm telling you this story is because we all get involved in stories and that's all it is is a story 
and basically like when i heard i heard a affirmation by louise hay this week and she said the power is in the present moment that was actually the second time i heard uh, the same thing the beings of light are, are constantly saying you know the power is in the present moment and so I've made it my mission now to practice being in the the present moment draw that circle that I mentioned and not go past that circle what the difficult thing is is your ego mind who has been in control all these years is going to bring to your mind different things for you to worry about different things for you to to focus on don't fall into that trap it and that's what it is is a trap that ego mind wants to keep you wants the the power that you've given away basically so when you call back all your power you have the power to completely change your life so now like i said my podcast went on in a little bit more details about it but basically we are a spiritual being having a human experience and when we can be and yes sarah says here and now when we can be in the here and now we're able to call back all this energy that we've given away and so this is our challenge basically because when we can actually be in the present moment and have all the power that is ours we have the power to change so many things so i want to take you on a wee um meditation it's the same meditation I did on the, the podcast that I recorded, and that'll be out tomorrow. I believe the link will be here um, tomorrow. So anyways, take a couple of very deep breaths. <sighs> Just inhale really deeply and exhale. And I've been, I've been liking the exhale really fast. So inhale, exhale. <sighs> so you're, you're blowing out everything that doesn't serve you any longer any vibration frequency that is low energy just blow it out exhale very quickly now ask that all the cords to everyone and everything that you have given your power away be cut you can cut it any way you want you can cut it with your hands you can visualize archangel michael coming in and chopping the cords but you want to cut these cords and ask the cords that the cords be cut for all of your lives we've been here many times seal these cords and ask that they no longer reattach keep breathing deeply focus on a golden orb above you and ask that it shower you with the purest white light to cleanse your body and your space so you're now standing underneath an energy shower now let's bring in our power animal we each have one so the first animal that comes to your mind is your power animal ask that this animal circle around you doesn't matter if it's counterclockwise or clockwise that's over analyzing it just ask for it to circle around you where you drew the line earlier ask that it protect your space from anything outside of the present moment now let's ask that the holographic shield be installed activating a Merkaba that acts as a shield make sure this shield that you are installing allows white light and anything of high vibration to come to you if you don't know what a Merkaba is it is two 3d pyramids one pointed toward the stars and one pointed to the earth they overlap each other
when they are spinning. One will go clockwise and the other will counterclockwise. It is the spinning of the Merkaba that will shield, like it'll, it'll build a shield around you. And again, doesn't matter which one's doing which, as long as one of them is opposite of the other one. It, we're not supposed to overthink this. Simply allow and just feel that the spinning is happening. Feel the vortex that it is producing around you. You are the vortex. This is who you are. And this is what happens when you're practicing being in the present moment. Now focus on this for a moment while I speak in the soul language and feel this with your heart. You can put your left hand on your heart if you like. Keep breathing. They're showing me the vortexes going, and, and so we've got this spinning going on. They're still pointing out that we may be overthinking this, so just let it go. Once you instruct the Merkaba to activate, and you instruct it to, to start spinning, your vibration will take care of the rest of it. You can feel it in your heart when your vibration is low. You know that um, your Merkaba is not spinning any longer. So you, all you have to do is raise your vibration. Think of 10 things you need to be grateful for, which will raise your vibration. And uh, once your vibration is at a certain level, it will start spinning on its own. And they're still, they're still saying we're overthinking it. Uh, so I think that's, that's why after I did the podcast this morning, you can open your eyes when you're ready. Um, after I did the podcast this morning, a lot of questions came up within me about being in the present moment. Like, what if I did this? And what if I did that? That kind of thing. So what they have pointed out is that next week we are going to do a being in the present moment Q&A. And, and so that's what my podcast next week and my video is going to be based on is answering everyone's question makes me a little bit nervous but i've been told to put it out there to email me at nancy at telfercoaching.com any questions that you have or you can put a question in the comment and i will um, be adding that to my podcast and my video next week and we're going to answer all the questions and when i say we i'm talking the beings of light because I have a ton of questions myself, so I'm sure you do too. Uh, and that they're saying is because we overthink things. So um, that's it. I'm going to have a fun week as I, I feel like I'm getting into trouble um, when I'm told that I'm overthinking. Just do it. <laughs> you know? So we're going to have some fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And do put a comment, uh, how, how did the, the meditation feel to you? Do you understand Merkabas? I can always post a picture on there if you don't know what a Merkaba looks like. It's amazing. And uh, anyways, I'll see you next week. All right. Namaste.